Hi guys, this is Genjo from London Taurus, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 strongest characters in Naruto. Um, this is just uh, on in Naruto, apart from any Boruto or any other extended Naruto uh, animes there for yourself. But yeah, uh, today... We're going to go straight to number nine. Please like and subscribe. It will really, really help us push more content as usual and uh, uh, yeah, make YouTube recognize us. Um, so, from number 10, we're going to start at uh, we've got two characters as usual. We had a really hard time placing all of them as uh, we've got so many beloved Naruto characters. So um, the first one we picked for number 10 is Minato Namikaze, yeah, Naruto's dad, and the fourth Hokage too as well. Um, yeah, bit of backstory about Minato badass genius from the, uh, from from the gecko he's not from any kind of like top family but he's a prodigy born genius too as well you know kind-hearted too as well just like your fairy tale prince to be honest uh minato is so is so op that on his own without any overpowering studying brilliantness made his own jutsu from the second hokage's jutsu was able to become hokage at a very very young age becoming the fourth Hokage, surpassing the third Hokage, which was known far and wide as the most knowledgeable Hokage by his teleportation jutsu to as well and his learning of all the sealing techniques of the uh, Uzumaki clan to as well. This guy on his own was able to suppress the Ninetail, teleport the Ninetail, save the, save the village, seal Naruto in, in, uh, in the Ninetail, uh, all on his own and fight Obito then, which Obito was using the 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 the, shar, uh, the sharing gun, which was taught by Madara at that point. All of that Minato doing it on his own too as well, while sacrificing his life too as well. Even Orochimaru was very very jealous in regarding Minato getting that Hokage, but nobody can argue with Minato's abilities. Obviously, we know his Naruto's dad. We even know how OP he is in regarding sensing sensing chakra and how quick he is even uh toby rama after they got back from the dead uh, they, they were brought back in the fourth great ninja war actually commended how quick uh minato was and commended his teleportation due to that it's an upgrade from the second hokage one of the strongest hokages too as well so minato well placed at number 10 too as well the other one we had a bit of a problem placing is uh, minato and orochimaru himself one of the three legendary sanis <laughs> and he thinks himself the immortal orochimaru has been one of the most relevant characters in naruto honestly he has been our first villain he's been kind of the villain that never goes away in naruto We've loved him, some people hate him, but I love his vibe completely. Yes, he's a bit slimy, snaky, sneaky, but what the heck, he wants to survive and he believes in the ultimate that a human life is not enough to be able to learn every kind of jutsu. Orochimaru is one of those characters that hates people for having the Keke Genkai. So what that is, is hates people for having natural born abilities because he would have to study a whole life of his, more lives. That's why he keeps killing people and um, reincarnating himself because he's not born with any kind of natural keke genkai wanting the sharingan renegan taking more chakra and power for himself you know living over and over again and that grudge that he's always had with the th second um with the, with the fourth hook um sorry with the third okage and not choosing him as um uh, the hokage too as well because he was one of the prodigies but orochimaru found a different path just like madara He's so epic. Every time Orochimaru comes on scene, a different vibe, a different music gets played. This is how epic he is. That's why I love him. And he's always held his own against no matter how badass a character is. 
or Chimaro has always found a way to be able to stay toe to toe with him as i said one of the three legendary signings so unfortunately at number 10 we would have to go with minato namikaze we quickly go to our number nine at number nine we are gonna go with uh we also had a hard time placing them because we had two characters too as well i want you to leave, leave your comments at the bottom in regarding who you think should be number nine uh the first one we've got obito uchiha yeah obito uchiha everyone knows obito's story it's a bit of a sad story people call him a simp but it's a bit of a sad kind-hearted kid from the uchiha clan always wanted to be he kind of reminds me so much of naruto as you see even naruto said it and he also you know envisioned that he was a bit more like naruto obito was a kind kid from the uchiha clan always wanting to do good unfortunately turn of events faith made him have an unfortunate accident and he loved one girl which there's always a rival kakashi she loved kakashi taylor's oldest time plus naruto too as well and uh yeah rin loved kakashi and because of rin he sacrificed himself to save the one she loves which is kakashi sensei uh but yeah very very good character the reason why obito is placed at number 10 is because obito only had a power up after he he became um the, the ten tails jinchuriki but obito has always been in the shadows the only thing that he had going for him which was pretty op is his um um uh, renegan uh sorry um mangeku sharingan which he was teleporting and using the name as madara so he's been using someone else's name to power off himself he's been very strong too as well that's why he's kind of above minato too as well and uh, when he gets that power up too as well he becomes uh the ten tails jinchuriki he becomes extremely op whereby he takes completely severs the hand of uh uh, Minato and also the third Hokage obliterates them the second Hokage too as well not after that because they regenerate after you know the uh, uh, coming back from life he actually stuck a bomb ball one of those orbs from the when you become a Jinchuriki just so they wouldn't regenerate again that's how OP he is he's always been a kid of conflict so Obito would be uh, one of the contenders for our number nine uh, another contender would be a rare mention we do have to mention him is guy sensei the reason why i put guy sensei here i know everyone's saying why guy sensei but you have to give it to guy sensei stood toe to toe with madara in his sage of six path form that's epic that honestly i don't care what anyone says but that is so epic and badass he literally madara said even at this stage that i have attained every kind of enlightenment enlightenment in regarding chakra i've never had someone so you earned my respect kill me this close to death even hashirama wasn't able to do that so guy sensei i know he did it and he opened the all the final gates and he just did it to die that was his final move but guy sensei deserves to be considered into this number nine but obviously we are going to go with obito as our number nine quickly we're going to jump on to our number eight number eight is well placed at number eight and if i had an opportunity to keep him higher i would he's the man uh the coolest guy and one of my favorite characters in naruto hands down itachi uchiha <laughs> this guy is a prodigy since he was young this guy i'm so sad the way this guy died and how this story this guy is so majestic and op to the point that he sacrificed everything since he was born for the shinobi world he is relevant he is so he is so um worthy of being hokage and hashirama's hashirama's descendant too as well i'm so sad that he was born from ochiha which that makes the storyline really really good because he was an ochiha the person that inherited the will of hashirama the most is from the ochiha clan which is itachi itachi is meant to be the fifth hokage honestly and i was so sad that he couldn't he had to take that path but he was so okay with protecting everything itachi was able to take on pain even after coming back because of how smart and how good he was with his abilities in regarding uh, his mangekyu sharingan and how knowledgeable he is in regarding um what works what chakra what he's just smart in any shape or form he saved the shinobi world he saved the leaf village from becoming uh embroiled in war and you know um ninja war too as well before he left the village he killed his own family so he can be able to stop the war he protected his brother made himself the villain joined the akatsuki 
tamed the Akatsuki, managed to put them on lockdown, and also when he got revived again, saved the ninja world again and ended the war. This guy is OP on every kind of level, and he is so strong to, to the point that his Mangekyou Sharingan is beyond belief. So Itachi is well placed without any power ups, without any help in anything. Itachi is well placed here. As I said, if I had a way, I'd put him above number eight, but we'll put Itachi at number eight. Number nine, um, sorry. Number seven, we go to none other than our pain, the embodiment of pain. Pain is one of those kids of prophecies. You know, he's a once in a generation prodigy. His Keke Genkai is unbelievably strong. He was chosen for a purpose, but unfortunately, he took the left side. You know, black, right pill, wrong pill, you know. Uh, but uh, Itachi um, Pain took the other side instead of becoming the protector that Jiraiya wrote about. And even in the legends, they were meant to be a protector. That person with that eyes of the Sage of the Sixth Path was meant to come again to the world as uh, another form of the Sage of the Sixth Path and, you know, stabilize the, the Shinobi world. But obviously, because of the incredible hardship of the Ninja Wars that he went through, he took a different path of being pain. He embodied pain. He became the Sixth Path of pain, you know, one one of his um, one of his bodies can ab can be able to revive the dead, you know. He's the leader of the Akatsuki too as well. He's got so many OP abilities. He captures and tings any kind of Junchuriki. So and leading the Akatsuki too as well, you know. He's destroyed so many countries. Pain is up there. The only person that was able to defeat him was Naruto. After Naruto attained that, that uh, obviously attained that Sage mode too as well. Uh, but yeah. Uh, pain is placed uh, very good at number seven. Uh, quickly, we go to our number six. At number six, no, so we have our very own Sasuke Uchiha. <laughs> you have to give it to our fan, uh, fan boy Sasuke and our pretty boy Sasuke. Sasuke is such a controversial character. He's one of those characters that you hate him and you love him. He's a complete spoiled brat you know, entitled, you know, and uh, very, very good looking too as well. Uh, um, yeah, and, and slick and cool too as well. Forever Naruto's rival. But um, the reason why Sasuke is at number six is Sasuke has always had incredible Keke Genkai. Uh, Itachi is way stronger than him, but he's gone through his character development is absolutely amazing. You go from hating Sasuke, understanding Sasuke, loving him and not knowing what Sasuke would do. After the power up, after the Sage of the Six Bats, Sasuke attained incredible abilities. And regarding Sasuke entrapped, within minutes, Sasuke entrapped all of the ten, ten, uh, uh, ten Jinchurikis, uh, uh, nine Jinchurikis, in one go with his with his Renegan. Sasuke is beyond belief OP. Even before OP in the Akatsuki, he was able to, uh, because of Orochimaru's curse, hold his own against members of the Akatsuki, you know, fight, kill Danzo too as well with his uh, Sharingan and, you know, attaining Renegan too as well. His hatred drove him for a very long time. You know, Sasuke is well placed at number number six there for yourself too as well. Uh, but yeah, at number five, we quickly go to our non, none other than our main character, Naruto Uzumaki. Oh my God, I can talk for days about Naruto Uzumaki. He is Naruto Uzumaki's... Naruto Uzumaki's... Uh, character development and character and the whole anime honestly it's 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 such an emotional journey and it's so realistic too as well this is uh, naruto as a series is one of the animes that borderlines across across realisticness uh, and it's law too as well regarding ninjas samurais the powering up is a bit you know um a, a bit over overpowered in regarding but this is taken from people's stories such as guy sensei naruto is just a kid for unfortunate reasons, was born into a world whereby he was uh, used as a weapon to be able to stabilize the nation. And without him knowing, he went through so much hardship, so much suffering, you know, but his will to succeed and his will to determine and his will to be able to get rec um, uh, recognized and accepted by people kept him going. The guts to never give up. Naruto is, is, is honestly, if you're going through through anything naruto is a worthy you know uh role model to be able to follow his guts to never give up naruto has never been the the most um the most the smartest character and the 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 quick to know character the strongest character but his relentless you know um guts to never give up in class if he's not 
somebody picks something once or twice, Naruto would have to do it four times, but when he does it, he masters it. Most intelligent people tend to quit easy, but with Naruto, the thing that he has that intelligent people do, do not have is the guts to never give up. Naruto is well placed here. You know, he had the Jinchurikis, uh, he, he's a Jinchuriki, he has the nine tails fox chakra, which has helped him out. He became a sage, you know, for, from, from Mad Nyoboku too as well, which he epically destroyed pain too as well. You know, he's very charismatic, you know, very funny, you know. Uh, he's driven the show for such a long time too. He's so not popular with the girls, granted. But yeah, Naruto is well placed at our number number five there for yourself too as well. And he doesn't even know that he comes from a very, very strong lineage in regarding his mom, his dad being the fourth Akage. He never had that kind of pride going up. He attained every kind of thing that he had on his own and chasing after Sasuke. And when he attains that power up, to become he made friends with the jinchurikis too as well he attained that power from the sage of the sixth path to be able to become you know one part of the sage of the sixth path which was absolutely epic he literally revived gai sensei with a touch and uh toby uh toby maru said uh, toby maru senju said he reminds him a lot about um hashirama he's also one of the people that you know um inherited hashirama senju's Hashirama Senju's Will of Fire too as well. So Naruto is well placed at number five for yourself. Uh, going quickly to number four, we are going to go to none other than the god of Shinobi himself, Hashirama Senju. Hashirama Senju is so epic and powered up to the point that he was he was powered up since before. We've never ever seen him alive in the anime to, unless till the um, fourth Great Ninja War. This guy is so OP to the point that people use his cells cultivate his cells after hundreds of hundred about hundred years of dying to be able to overpower or strengthen their genes you see hashiramas like cells overpowering someone and his literal face and body coming out of your body if you're not strong enough to suppress him that's how his his chakra is like the chakra of the forest hashirama is also one of these children that is a once in a generation prodigy too as well you know um yeah extremely extremely powered extremely justified to be here hashirama without any power-ups was able to suppress the ten tail was able to fight madara also was able to catch most of the jinchurikis with no power-up whatsoever hashirama so hashirama has always been there he's not added anybody's genes onto his genes he's always the one bossing it on his own yeah and he's such a such a cool guy too as well you know um has that light-hearted energy to you as well he's strong but he doesn't like put it in your face kind of thing to you as well it's a complete opposite to madara but hashirama is well placed at number four we quickly go to none other than madara uchiha the most epic line that he always says wo da da uh but yeah madara uchiha is well placed at number three not only madara has been hashirama's uh, Hashirama's uh, rival for such a long time. He's the leader of the Uchiha clan. His Mangekyu Sharingan and his Sharingan is non parallel to any other Uchiha clan. Good looking, epic design, and completely ruthless too, as well, to the core. I don't think Madara fancies anything apart from himself. Madara is so cool to the point that when he was awakened, he took on an entire army on his own just to be able to test his abilities too as well he gave sasuke so many chances before he killed him because he reminded him of his brother he held a grudge against tobimaru and he made sure he obliterated tobimaru too as well this was before madara ever became uh, ever had the ten tail in his like jinchuriki and also madara on his own <laughs> looks down i like how arrogant madara is honestly this is because we've been thinking Obito has been Madara all this time. But when we see the real Madara, we understand with his arrogance when he's talking to people, when he's looking down to any other nation uh, in, in the Shinobi, his um, Susano is incredible. We see him fight all of the Raikages uh, when he came back. Honestly, I've never seen them being put in their place. Now we understand why all of them are so scared of Madara Uchiha. He is the most epic villain we can ever, ever ask for. Especially when he becomes the Tentail Jinchuriki, becomes also the embodiment of the Sage of the Six Path. At that point, Madara was so epic that Hashirama had to join the fight to be able to kind of help and even the odds too as well. And the only reason why he lost was because obviously um, Kaguya, Kaguya uh, took over. 
Uh, but yeah, from Madara Uchiha, we jump to the Sage of the Sixth Path as our number two. So our number two, we have our Sage of Sixth Path. Obviously, Sage of Sixth Path is well justified to be at number two. Um, him and his brother, um, um, during the olden days, was uh, um, his mother was uh, the hermit, uh, the rabbit queen from the moon, Kaguya Otsuchiki, and um, him and his brother Adra and Indira and Ashura, both of them, had incredible spiritual pressure. They are the progenitors of chakra itself. We know his brother went to the moon to stay, but he know he lived in the earth and he's the god of shinobi. He's the one that taught everyone how to use chakra. This guy is so epic that his spiritual pressure transcended generations and generations and teaching people. He taught people of the world how to do ninshu. He was the one that, the sage of the sixth path was the one that separated the ten tail and um, t t turned them into different one tail, two tail, three tail, four tail, and till the nine tail, nine tail beast all across the world and send them to different locations to be able to stabilize the world in regarding that and he named them completely so this guy is so overpowered and he's beyond any other character in naruto hands down he is the embodiment of chakra and everyone in the world of naruto as we know it now are like his children and he just watches them like a god that he is and when he watches them all he does is just can't get involved the only time he gets involved is when his mom came back which is a bigger threat than him and they in the beginning they also had to sort her out but this guy is so op and well placed at number two uh yeah uh but quickly after number two we go to our number one uh before we go to our number one please like and subscribe it would really help us push more content out of the channel uh more anime and uh, uh geeky content too as well marvel dc too as well uh, before we go to our number one we're going to do a bit of a drum roll and we're going to have a few mentions worthy mentions such as um old man onoki from the stone village he was so epic in the fourth great ninja war his particle dismantling jutsu is epic too as well he, he can fly and he's the one that stopped madara's uh, Madara's uh, attack when everyone passed out. Also, we have our very own Killer B. Killer B is a worthy mention as he's uh, the Ten Tails Jinchuriki and he also has the ability to perfectly control the Eight Tails too, as well. And he's a badass fighter. Uh, after that, also a worthy mention is Sabakugara. Yeah, the One Tails Jinchuriki. Very, very loving character. We've known the character too, as well, since from the beginning. Epic. Uh, he's also always control the sand he's always bossed it out there so yeah these are worthy mentions so we quickly go to our number one one other than none other than our kagea utsutsuki <laughs> this lady is so epic and beyond any kind of being that we've met in naruto that the sage of six path himself had to appear when she came in because he's like no i'm not going to be watching these kids nowadays i am going to come because my mother my mother is here and we had to seal her away this woman is so op she came from the moon, she's from the moon tribe, and she's like a princess of the moon. She came, she ate the forbidden god tree, and that's how she got powers. Obviously, the sage of the cis pack and his brother are her kids, but this woman was so epic that nobody could stop her. She became such a big threat that him and his brother, the sage of the six pack, had to imprison her with a jutsu, which that's a jutsu he passed to Naruto and Sasuke to be able to imprison her. This lady moves through dimensions <laughs> honestly the way she rolls she doesn't even she just literally fidgets and dimensions flip that's literally how epic she is she doesn't need signs all that nonsense she's literally epic to that point that she only goes through time and space move dimensions be able to make things happen that's how epic she is Obviously, when she gets back, nobody could be able to stop her. The only reason why she got sealed away is because she got a bit emotional in regarding seeing Naruto and Sasuke, which look extremely like her, her children that sealed her away. And she had that anger of why did her children that she loved so much seal her away to as well. That's one of the only things that her that done her in. <laughs> and also Naruto, don't forget Naruto's naked uh, jutsu that he did uh, for her because she thinks she was horny and she's been, you know, locked up for such a long time but very very epic character at number one uh yeah 
sick character too as well. Uh, yeah, these are our top 10 uh, strongest characters in Naruto. Uh, again, if you do like the content, please like and subscribe. We'll be giving you content like this every now and again.